I have to stand to play anyway. Oh, oh. Bert Carding. Hi. Oh, how did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another impromptu Bible <laughs> lesson for Sunday. Hope you guys are doing well. It's a beautiful day, um, beautiful weekend. I'm going to get right to it. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, there's Cat. The Carvers are out of town. They have not left the church or their religion. They have just left town. They'll be back next week. There's Carrie and Mike. Mike has trimmed up his beard, you might notice. I got and a haircut. I got a haircut. Oh. Carrie. And Kat trimmed up her beard, too. We're very happy with that. <laughs> it's tough being quarantined for three months. Stuff's going to happen. So, um, Here's what we have coming up. First of all, first of all, last night we had that scavenger hunt. That was a hoot. Wasn't that a riot, Cat? It was. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Ooh, scavenging. <laughs> nice. Kevin really loved it. Great. Great. Well, that was a great job. Well, he went to bed early. He doesn't have arms. So he has a hard time holding the bag and grabbing things. That's right. So that's Kevin's problem with the whole thing. Well, regardless, it was a great scavenger hunt. Um, so here's what we have coming up. It's a busy couple of weeks. We got Bible study Tuesday. We're on Matthew 7, and it is crazy sock night. Crazy sock night. So you can either wear a sock, wear it on your hand, or just show us a crazy sock when you come Tuesday at 6.30 on Zoom. Next Sunday, a week from today, is our Bible study at 1 o'clock on Sunday, and the Carvers will be back to join us. That'll be on Facebook. And then 2-4 Hangout comes back a week from tonight at 4.30, and we have a brand new series we're going to do. I forgot what it is, but we're going to do it, and you'll love it. And then the following Friday is Two Truths and a Lie, and... Like I say, we don't usually condone lying until we want to make a game out of it. So that's what is coming up in the next like week or two coming down the line. Uh, and before I forget, we are not doing live prayer requests today, but do put prayer requests in there so we can come back and check them throughout the week and pray for you all. How'd I do? You did great. That was a lot. I all did that in one breath. You did. So, um, so we're going to open up in prayer. Is uh, Who's opening us? Kat, you're doing that, right? I'm doing prayer. All right, let's pray, you guys. Father God, we thank you for yet another time with each other, another time with you, another time to enjoy um, worshiping and spending time in your word and laughing and thinking and all the things that we do when we can be together here on Sunday mornings. And Father, we, um, we just thank you for this day. We ask that you would bless this time, that you would bless all our folks, and that most of all, God, you would be honored and pleased and that we would put a smile on your face. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> thank you, Kat. We're going to go to the screen share so I can get the lyrics up. All right, you get the lyrics. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, so I'm hoping that I don't sneeze in the middle of singing. Wait, here it comes, wait a minute. Okay, oh. okay no, it's gone. All right, so I'm gonna try to sing. Now, you think it's Sunday, but it's not. It's really Saturday morning, and I haven't sung yet. So, <laughs> this could be scary, but we're gonna sing Light of the World, because he is, and we are, and there you go. So, let's sing. How do I play this? Oh, yeah. Here we go. The world is searching for an answer. A ray of hope in a hopeless world. Who can we turn to? Where is our rescue? There is some He's the answer, he's the light and you light the way. His name is Jesus, he came to save us. He is the light, 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 light of the world and he shines, shines, shines on the earth. Shine. 
So we already saw that he's the light of the world. So that's a really great thing. And he is always with us. So that's wonderful. If you remember those two things all week long, you're good to go. So let's sing Emmanuel. <clears throat> Wait, this is the wrong key. Wait, I think I did it in B flat. Oh, shoot. All right, we're just gonna sing it higher. Oh, this is gonna be scary. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. I you might have to unmute yourself. Uh, that was awesome, as usual, no matter what key that was in. Oh my gosh, as soon as I started it, I thought, oh yeah, I transposed this a step and a half down so that I could sing it easier. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you pulled it off. Notebook that one's in. <laughs> yeah, you pulled it off. That was great. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that, Kat. That's it. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. A good reminder that God is with us, and like Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, he never leaves, never forsakes, and um, we have a, a kind of a short Bible verse this week. Um, Mike, I think, who's, oh no, Carrie's leading the Bible. I lost my job. There you go. There you go. Hey, Miss Carrie, 
round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bible verse. Guide me in your truth and teach me. Psalms 25, 5. Oh. She She's better. I lost my job permanently. Oh, I, I tell you, though. I hate to say it, but I think she's got it going on. Oh, but you know what? We'll be the real test that she can do repeat after me. Oh, all right. Anybody, anybody can do the Bible verse, but the repeat after me is a big one. Takes extra talent. It does. Repeat with me. Bible verse. Bible verse. Guide me. Guide, Guide me. In your truth. In your truth. And teach me. And teach, and teach me. me. Oh. Psalms 25 5. Psalms 25 5. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike, but I'll thank you. I'll right. so, <laughs> go back to work. <laughs> no. Good. Good. Well, today, um, it, we, if, you, if you have your Bible, open it up to, to Luke 1038, and we're going to learn about Mary and Martha. Ooh. And um, for our casting, Mike is going to be Jesus this week. <gasps> Whoa. With the beard. With the beard. Turned it up. He looks more like Moses, but he's going to be <laughs> I like it. Big shoes to fill, though. Big shoes. Oh, yeah, really big shoes. Hard to beat McDougal. There you go. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. And who do we have as Mary this week? Mary Carey. I, re I remember. <laughs> and so that would leave Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. Good, 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 good. Bagels. Oh, wait, that's Italian. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> So I am your trusted host and narrator, and um, I can't get started until we get somebody to say action. Unfortunately. Hey, Mike. I think I think. Uh, no, I can't. You, I scary, got scary. I'm okay. gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. And save my ears. <laughs> Kevin, do it again. Yes. Kevin. Yes. All right. Kevin has recovered. He thinks from the last time he did action. So. He's, he's getting ready. Wait a minute. I got to get a hold of him. All right. You're going to hurt him. Action. All right. Oh, yay. I, I think you just gave him a headache. <laughs> <laughs> that or was his visit up north with the governor. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Jesus, played by Mike, showed God's love to people. He taught people about God. Sometimes he just taught by telling stories. Tell us a story, Mike. Yeah, Tell us Mike. A story, Jesus. Tell us about um, the old wild, wild west. Well, life was much, much simpler. <laughs> we bought gas stations. <laughs> and sometimes Jesus taught by speaking plainly with his friends. One day, Jesus was visiting friends. His friends were Martha with Kevin and Mary. They were sisters and they welcomed Jesus yes. Hi. into their home. See, Hi. back back then you could do three people in a home together. It was okay. Good. You could do lots of people. Jesus uh -huh. talked with his friends who gathered. He thought about God. Mary. Oh, I forgot my props. Wait, slow down. Okay. I forgot Jesus my... talked oh, my with his friends who gathered. Jesus remembered when there wasn't any viruses. <laughs> he thought about God. Mary sat at Jesus' feet. And she listened carefully to every word that Jesus said. Martha this is my child. was busy being a good hostess. Let me dust you people off. Let me, <laughs> let me make some good food. 
she had many chores to do. She was frustrated when she saw Mary sitting down. Martha needed Mary's help. Martha interrupted Jesus and said, I need Mary's help. I got the bagels to make. I got the house to clean. I got to make the matzo ball soup. And she's sitting there, Jesus. She's sitting there. What's she sitting there for? Oi, what am I going to do? And then you got this guy with no arms. He no help. He doesn't <laughs> stare at the screen or stare at Jesus. So Jesus, I need her help. Tell her to help me and come and work. Jesus answered Martha directly. Oh, Martha, uh, you are worried and upset about work that you want to get done. But, but Mary only has one thing that she's concentrating on. Of course Spending she time with me. Oh. Mary has made the right choice. She is learning from me. And I will not ask her to stop and go to help you. Damn. Bam. That, that the was, end. I think if Jesus had a microphone, he'd have dropped it right there. Right. And I would have said, yeah, Mary Carey is always the teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> I like her more. <laughs> wow. Jesus, I'm supposed to have favorites. <laughs> what could that mean? What could that mean? I, I don't know, know what that means. This is a mystery. Let me see if Kevin knows. Oh, he wants to talk about the Bible verse. Ah. Okay, so back and he's going to talk about the Bible verse. So do you remember your Bible verse, people? Guide me in your truth and what? Teach me. Bible verse one more time. Sometimes I feel like we should do it a couple times. All right. Repeat after me again. Guide me in your truth. Guide me in your, in your truth. truth. Teach me. Teach me. teach me and teach me. So this is really important because if we are not following truth, we are not learning the proper lessons. And where does truth come from? Pipe in and where's truth come from? Social media. The Bible. Thank you for playing the game, but no. Anyone else? The Bible. <gasps> Let's hear a round of applause for my- I Michael would get it. What kind of answer did you expect me to give other than the Bible? Well, you are right. Really? We have to keep our nose into the Bible, where there is truth. And then once we have truth, then we need to continue to pray that Jesus will guide us in that truth because everything outside around us, social media, all the distractions, all the everything in the world are not necessarily truth. Some of them may be, but you gotta check it. You gotta check it against God's word and make sure it is truth. And then once you have truth, you ask God to guide you, like I just said, but to teach you, because sometimes it's very hard to learn truth because there's so much going on around us that's not truth. So it's really hard to discern what to listen to, what to do, how to act, what to say, all of those things. But God has promised that with his Holy Spirit, the comforter, he will bring us truth right down from heaven, right from God, right to us, right in here. And so that's what we ask, is we ask the Holy Spirit to continue to teach us and to guide us into all truth. That, my friends, is what it means. Wow, very timely, very good. It seems like a, it seems like a lot of these messages we're doing are very timely for the the days we're living in. Don't Isn't it? that the way Jesus always works? Yeah. Yeah. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, that's great. They're all. Yeah. So re remember, friends, we're not going to do live prayer requests, but we do want you to put them down so we can. Uh, in the comments that we can pray for you during the week. Um, but Mike's gonna pray us out of another fantastic Sunday morning lesson or Sunday afternoon lesson, whatever day it is. Whatever, whatever Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, what it is. It's the COVID, I never know what day it 
it is. They're, they're all God's days. <laughs> Wait, I have to tell you though. So I went over to Holly's house on Wednesday, but I didn't know it was Wednesday. So I went over there expecting her to be home. And I came in and I asked Bryce and the boys, where's, where's mom? Where's Holly? And Bryce says, well, she's at work. I said, but she doesn't work on Thursdays. And he said, but today is Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> Go through, I never know what day it is. It's like you said, Mike, it's another one of God's days. Listen, they make calendars for that. You know, I have them. And I can look at them. And I still don't remember what day it is. I know. I'd like to blame all of this on the COVID, but I can't. Blame it all on the COVID. Yeah. yeah some, pe some people would blame it on age. Yep. But we won't go there. Yep. No. no, you go there. I'm fully okay with that. Because yep. I. <laughs> well, let's close in prayer. My dear Grace and Heavenly Father, we just thank you for another day that we can worship you. Lord, we thank you for the lessons that you have for us that uh, we need to continue to study your word and grow in our relationships with you. We pray for those that are sick, and we pray also for the Carvers that they'll have a safe trip home today, or to watch over and protect them. Be with us throughout this week. We thank you for your love and your kindness. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Boy, we learned a lot today, including, I think, we need the Carvers. Yes. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys are great. We love you all, guys. We'll see you Tuesday, Tuesday, 6.30 on Zoom or 6.30. <laughs>